morning, guys. Quite bright behind me there. Although it's not actually sunny. So, today's video is about calorie deficit and how do you create a calorie deficit? I think first and foremost we should talk about what a calorie deficit is and the importance of it and uh, what it should create. Now, when I have members join, as I'm sure you can appreciate, a lot join with a goal in mind. And I would say 90% of the members carry a very similar goal. And that goal will be, one, to improve their health, and they'll want to do that by weight loss. And that, like I said, 90% of the time, that is everyone's goal, men, women alike. And they have in their heads a way they want to do that. Now, you would never want to stifle any enthusiasm, but at the same time, it's your job to make sure that they are realistic in how they achieve these goals. So today I just want to focus strictly on if a goal was to be weight loss. Now, that is where a calorie deficit comes in. And the way that it works is that your body requires a certain amount of calories. And it's come to known as your sedentary calorie requirement. Calories required to function in within a day. And there's different ways of working it out. I use quite a simple equation. It's your body weight in pounds times 11. And that will give you your sedentary calorie intake, what you would require every day just to survive. Now let's say you work it out and to keep it simple, you're told that to survive in a day, you're gonna survive on 2000 calories. It will be very dependent, it's just dependent on your weight, mass, etc. So if you wanted to lose weight, it's recommended healthy weight loss, one or two pounds a week. So you'll need to create a deficit of 500 calories in that day. Across the week, you would have an organic weight loss of one pound. Be it that a pound of body fat is three and a half thousand calories. So there's ways of creating these deficits. Now, the most common one that people believe there to be is just strictly to start to exercise. But I don't know if you've uh, exercised very regularly. If you've given yourself 45 minutes in a day, set that aside to exercise, you'll very seldom hit 500 calories in that 45 minutes. Unless you're already maybe a bit overweight and your expenditure is that much more to do the exercise. You might be doing a very, 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 very intense class and you might hit that 500 calories. But it's still gonna be quite tough. Meaning that the most effective way to create a deficit is through your nutrition, what you eat and what you consume. Now what people don't understand and what will be a key point to take from today and value away from the video is that there are multiple ways to create a deficit. And you already know of them. You have the Cambridge diet, 
low carbs, high protein, Weight Watchers, Slimming World, uh, you, the shakes, the juicing diets. Every single diet has one similarity. It creates a calorie deficit. You put into your body less than the body requires, therefore you lose weight. One of the most intriguing ones is the keto diet. I think it's fantastic for the people when they do it right. I think it's very hard to get it right. People can have their missed days, but what, fundamentally what it does is it creates a calorie deficit. So you're automatically going to lose weight. So no matter what you do, whether you're juicing, keto, Cambridge, low carb, Weight Watchers, Slimming World, it's all the same. As in the principle is the same. It creates a calorie deficit. And you'll lose your weight from that. But if you're relying on those sorts of diets to try to lose the weight, fundamentally what tends to happen is you come off those diets, your deficit is no longer, and the byproduct of that is you put your weight back on. So what will be more effective is to incorporate small changes in your eating habits in general day-to-day -day life. And the most effective way to do that is to start to calorie count and start to understand what it is you're actually eating. Keeping food diaries just for a week. Eat what you consider to have been a normal week and just see what you consume. There's products out there that will already help you. My Fitness Pal, fantastic. It's so well developed, so well engineered, and so well researched that there isn't a food on there that I haven't been able to find, or at least have similar foods on there that you can relate to, to put down into your day, to understand what calories you're actually eating. Now, the other, the other side of this calorie counting is that it makes you aware of the calorific value of foods. And you automatically start to value what you put in because you can start to see how much more foods, how much more there can be in a food than just eating something that you desire. You know, 100 calories worth of, say, a, a, a vegetable as opposed to some carbs, potatoes, it's going to start to show the difference in the size and the portions. And you can educate yourself into understanding that the deficit will predominantly need to come from what you eat. Now you can have a daily deficit, but I know some people that have lost weight working on a weekly deficit. And they do it with this 5-2 diet. So you have these two days of very, very low calories minimal exercise, minimal movement, and then five days of what they would consider to be normal eating. And they do lose weight, but that's because on the first two days of that week, they've consumed barely half a day's requirement in two days. So of course, for the rest of the week, if they were to remain fairly decent and stick back to that sedentary calorie intake I spoke about requirement, they're going to lose weight because their weekly deficit is lower. They've done, they've, 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 the deficit is that lower than that three and a half thousand calories, meaning they will lose that pound of body fat organically. Now I've spoken about getting a deficit through nutrition, lifestyles, all of these different diets. I think do what's right for you. If you think the diet works, then you need to stick with it. But fundamentally, whilst you're doing it, try to look at your day-to-day -day habits and try to minimize the risk of coming off the diet and just putting the weight straight back on because your deficit is out. Incorporating exercise is vital to improve your health. No two ways about it. And most people will aim to train to two or three times a week. And they'll be quite high intense sessions to feel the benefits. Now on those days, if we go back to a person requiring 
they're 2,000 calories. They're used to a finding a 500 deficit, so they're finding themselves eating 1,500 calories. They then get into exercise 45 minutes to an hour, and then they have created an even bigger deficit of, say, another three or 400 calories. They're down to 1,100 calories on that day. Meaning that if you feel okay, great, the deficit's even bigger. Your weight loss will be even more, and it's a good organic weight loss. But you do also need to live. You need to enjoy your foods. You need to enjoy what you're doing. Meaning that you might, that day, choose to have your extra to eat. Because you've created almost a void through your exercise to then enjoy yourself. I have people that train, that only train so they can eat what they want. And they train daily sometimes, you know. It won't be rare to see someone five times in the week because they want to eat what they want. Okay, we manage the session so they don't overdo it and become and get any over, uh, overuse injuries. But they do it to do that. I personally read an article quite a few years ago now and it was about creating an enjoyable but healthy lifestyle. And they did it in the way of they looked at the whole week. And they were, uh, it was a rugby player. And he did it by this. For five and a half days of the week, for him, he was immaculate. Monday to Friday, right up until he played rugby on a Saturday, he was immaculate. His deficit was bang on. If he needed to lose weight, he did 500 calories less a day. If he was maintaining, he stuck to his daily requirement. If he knew he was gonna have a heavy weekend, he created the deficit in the first five and a half days. Meaning he had Saturday night and Sunday to enjoy. Because in his words, he said, if you can't enjoy your food and drink, what's the point? And I have to agree with him. I enjoy my food. I'm a rugby player myself. And I do try to, when I can, work to that principle. That suits me really well. Trying to be really good and really immaculate those five and a half days a week. If I'm gonna be really bad on a Sunday, brunch, roasts, evening dinners, the lot, then really it should be the six days in a week to be immaculate. But it will be worth it when you come to enjoying your food but you're feeling good, you're looking good, and you feel better about yourself. So remember, most of the work to create a deficit is, is in your nutrition. You're better off calorie counting, using, say, the Fitness Pal app, uh, my Fitness Pal app, and getting a better understanding of your foods you eat and the calorific value of them. Like I said, you can use these very simple but effective calculations body weight in pounds times 11 will give you your sedentary calorific um, requirement in a day you have calorie counters and um, calculators online and you can specify do you want to lose weight maintain weight put on weight and it gives you a very very accurate calorie requirement and then it's up to you you have to educate yourself you can't just expect this to happen without it without your input and your uh, education on the matter. But to sum up, calorie deficit is going below your daily requirement, which you can work out via a calorie calculator or that equation of body weight in pounds times 11. You then go 500 calories below that, creating a deficit across the week of three and a half thousand calories, giving you an organic weight loss of about a pound but it will be a pound if you stick to it. And you can also do that by incorporating some exercise into your week to improve your health and fitness and also assist in the deficit. So that's the end of the video. I hope you've taken uh, some value from it, a bit more understanding of a calorie deficit and how it will work, how diets all have similarities and they, only, they all create calorie deficits to help people weight, uh, lose weight and that there are different ways 
you can have these weekly deficits whether you have those five and a half days of being immaculate with a day and a half of enjoying yourself or the five two diet so on and so forth if you've got any questions i'll be happy to answer them you can follow our website links on the page or dm me directly or comment below cheers guys